it means you reduce the average kinetic energy of particles. Does that mean cold particles travel, cold substances have slower particles? Yes, because they have low kinetic energy. Hot particles have higher part, uh, hot substances have higher kinetic energy? Yes. If something is hot, that means it has a higher average kinetic energy. Now, averages are interesting. Average does not depend on one particle. Average depends on the whole particle. So here's the thing. Evaporation has a cooling effect. When water evaporates, it becomes cooler. So evaporation has a cooling effect. Why is that? Really simple. Let's say we perspire, right? We sweat. It keeps our skin cool. How does that happen? So again, for, for that, we have to understand that temperature is related to average kinetic energy. So that's the key idea here. Temperature is directly related to average kinetic energy. So we have skin, which is getting hot, and we have water particles on it, and these water particles evaporate. When they evaporate, we know that our skin feels cooler, which means temperature becomes less. Based on this relation, we know that if temperature becomes less, average kinetic energy becomes less. So when evaporation is happening, water, the sweat is evaporating, we know, we see that temperature is coming down. I mean, nazar are that temperature is going down, which must mean that average kinetic energy is coming down. So where's that energy going? Clearly with the water, right? The water that evaporated. So somehow what's happening is that when water evaporates, it lowers the average kinetic energy. So how is that possible? How do you reduce average? Let's see. Let's say you are living in a street. There are five houses in the street. Every house gets a thousand dollars income per day, uh, per month, let's say. And this house, so what's the average of all of these? Every house gets a thousand dollars average per month. So what's the average of five houses? Five times thousand divided by five, which is a thousand dollars. So their average is a thousand dollars income. Now let's say uh, there's another house in that same street and their average income is $10,000 per month. So now these five are getting thousand each and that one house is getting 10,000. So what's the average now? The new average is 10,000 for this house plus 5,000 for all the others divided by six because I have six houses, right? So 15,000 divided by six is $2,500. Did these houses suddenly start getting more income? No, right? It's simply that one house that had very high income, it pulled the average towards itself. Sirf iske hone ki wajah se average increased. That's how averages work. Average depends on the highest and the lowest values and how far they are from each other. Agar ek value bohat high hai compared to everything else, it will pull the average towards itself. It's kind of like, agar ek class mein paanch bachche fail ho rahe hain, lekin ek bachche 100 le rahe hain, to class ki average us 100 ki wajah se kaafi improve ho jayegi. Even though the class is still performing really, really bad. And that's how averages work. Over here, we are seeing that when things evaporate, we see a cooling effect, which means temperature goes down, which means the average kinetic energy goes down. So evaporation has somehow reduced the average kinetic energy, the average. Agar mujhe in houses ki average kam karni hai. And let's say I remove this house now. Ye wala house, I remove it. So their average goes down to a thousand. Because now the higher value jo ek zyada high value wala tha, it is not pulling the average anymore so from this simple example we can see that average changes based on the outliers or the values that are very high and very low so if you want to drop the average just remove the higher value things and if you want to increase the average just add the higher value things now coming back to this relation Temperature going down means average kinetic energy going down, which means particles with high kinetic energy have 
gone out. Just like in this example, the house with high energy, high income, if you remove it, the average goes down. Similarly, the particles with high kinetic energy, if they are going away, then average kinetic energy goes down. So what does that tell me? It tells me that when we sweat, the particles that evaporate, they have high kinetic energy. And when they go away, the average goes down, which means temperature goes down. And that's why we see a cooling effect. Do you get it? So uh, evaporation is that high energy particles leave from the surface. So average kinetic energy goes down, reduces, and temperature lowers. That's it. And that's very, very important. In fact, that is the reason humans are the apex predator. Let's say you are out hunting 10,000 years back. You're in a jungle. Kya hoga? If there's a deer and it's running, deer are really, really fast. Humans can't outrun them. But the deer has a thick hide. So it has to stop after a while because its skin is warm. Its body heats up. But humans have the gift of sweating. So we keep on running, going after it, and our skin stays cooler. We keep drinking water, skin stays cooler because high energy particles from our skin go away. We sweat. But that dear bichara his body is going to heat up and eventually after a while, he's not able to run faster or run at all. But humans will slowly and gradually reach it and we'll get the hunt. We are able to do marathons because of this. It's not easy to run for 40 miles or more or 40 kilometers or more. Why are we able to do that? Because our body temperature stays constant or we are able to regulate our body temperature and why are we able to do that because of the gift of sweating the high energy particles from our body they take the heat energy that our skin has and they just go out in the atmosphere and so the ones that are left over they are not as warm and they have less kinetic energy why is it that when you're out coming out of a shower, you suddenly feel colder if you're not covering yourself up properly? Or when you're coming out of a swimming pool, you're supposed to cover yourself up. Or when you see Olympic uh, competitions, they always cover them up in aluminum uh, foil or some uh, blanket because they don't want their body to basically lose all that heat right away. Because if that happens, our, let's say... Abhi usne swimming karke nikla hai, ya bohut zyada running karke, now they're cooling, they're cooling down. We want them to cool down slowly. We don't want their body to evap evaporate all the sweat too fast. Because then the cooling effect will be too high and they might get sick. Do you get it? So it's, it's amazing how simple act of sweating or simple act of evaporation is able to create a cooling effect. And evaporation happens from the surface. That's important. So if the surface is higher, evaporation is faster. If the surface is smaller, evaporation is lower. So for example, if I have two pans, one is this one and one is this one, which one will have, which one will cool down faster? The one with higher surface area, which is this one. So higher surface area means higher rate of evaporation because yahan se particles hai, they're able to escape more and again it's always the high energy particles that do that okay so now we know how temperature changes it changes because of the average kinetic energy and evaporation is when high energy particles leave from the surface but what about boiling boiling is when all the particles gain energy and that is how they all change to the gaseous state. They overcome the forces. How is evaporation different? In evaporation, only the high energy particles leave. In boiling, all the particles eventually leave because they all get more energy. But in evaporation, 
only the ones that have high energy they leave make sense yeah perfect sometimes they ask you to like give differences between evaporation and boiling so just know that boiling happens throughout the liquid evaporation only happens at the surface boiling is uh, so i'll just write 